You know what's better than one Huggy Wuggy? Having five of them! How can the doll carry them all? Cover them up with some cling wrap and clay, then pour some hot glue all over the top. Just like that. Add glitter for that extra sparkle, too. Make sure to coat the entire clay belly. And look! The Squid Game Barbie doll is pregnant! Huh? The real Squid Game doll is pregnant, too! It's Huggy Wuggy! You're going to be a father. Huggy seems excited to have quintuplets. Oh no! The queue to the toilet is so long! Can you let me go first, please? I'm pregnant and I really need to pee! No way! What now? The doll can't hold it in any longer! Is there a way to make her go first? What's going on here? I need the toilet. They won't let me cut the line. Is that so? Let me handle this. <coughs> oh, the joys of having a monster husband. Thank you, Huggy. Bye. Someone's having an ultrasound. Ice cream and spiders. What? Doctor, I'm ready. Huh? Then who is? It's Huggy Wuggy. His stomach is just bloated from all the spider-flavored ice cream. Don't worry, he can just burp it all out. Get out of my place. It's my turn to have an ultrasound. Are you ready? Wow, a mini Huggy Wuggy. This is great news. Hold on, there's one more. Yay! Another one? Triplets, yes! Too many diaper changes. We'll be fine. Oh my, she's having quintuplets! It's snack time! There's pizza, cake, fish, and milk. But what do the babies want? It seems they all want different things. Oh, looks like Mommy Doll is going to have to eat everything. What is she planning to do now? Let's prepare all the food first. Hold on, a blender? Oh dear, she's going to make a smoothie out of all this food. Oh, don't forget the fish. Why not add a banana too for extra flavor? And finally, the milk. A sprinkle of salt too, and start blending. The taste of this is going to be interesting. I can't wait to taste this yummy smoothie. In fairness, it looks like a strawberry smoothie. Mmm. The doll seems to like it. And the babies too. What do we have here? A smoothie? This must be a fruit smoothie. I'll take it. Here goes nothing. Ah, refreshing. Huh? Ah, so disgusting. Huggy's busy playing games on his phone. Oh, Huggy, I want that. Look, look. What? It's a new stroller made out of gold. The doll really wants that for her baby. But we already have so many strollers. See? Look, we have one, two, three, four strollers. And we have five babies. Look at them. They're waving hello. See? You're right. We need one more stroller. Leave this to me. What is Huggy planning to do? He's scaring the host away. Well, scaring people is his expertise, after all. At least he got the stroller. I'm back. Here is the golden stroller that you wanted. Wow, I knew I could count on you, Daddy Huggy. Our fifth baby is going to love this. My stomach won't stop hurting. Good thing the doll has x-ray vision. There seems to be a boxing competition going on in there. Huggy, do something about this. I have an idea. Huh? That's mine! Huggy just needs to borrow these headphones for a while. Maybe music will help calm the babies. Never mind. They absolutely hate it. They're still going at it. It hurts. Maybe they prefer a different kind of music? Let's give this rock star a try. I don't want to. I said sing or I'm going to eat you. Okay. Rock and roll, baby. This is hurting my ears. Rock and roll. The babies hate it too. Okay, I think that's enough. This clearly isn't working. Huggy needs to find a better solution. Rock a bye, baby, on the treetop. It seems the babies like their daddy Huggy's voice. You sound good. Look, it's working. The babies are falling asleep. But that doesn't stop Huggy from singing. He's already gained fans. 
The doll is planning to do the laundry, but it's hard to move around with such a big pregnant belly. This is really testing her flexibility. <laughs> oh no! Come on! I give up. Ha! <sighs> Looks like help has arrived. Can you pick up the clothes? Sure, I'm happy to help you out. Just look after my ice cream. Huggy Wuggy is such a good husband. He's always eager to help. These are mostly Huggy's clothes anyway. It's the doll's turn to relax now. What are you doing? Just keep picking up the clothes. Don't mind me. Hee <laughs> hee. It seems that the doll can't fall asleep. Her pregnant belly must be bothering her. This is so heavy. Huggy, wake up. I can't sleep. Help me. Let's hope Huggy has some ideas to make the doll fall asleep. I've got an idea. Looks like he's setting up to make the doll more comfortable with all these cushions. Now what? Is that incense? Oh, maybe a nice scent in the air will make her fall asleep. This is not going to work. I hate the smell. How about some nice, soothing harp music? It's still not working. What else can Huggy do? If all else fails, perhaps a little bit of hypnotism will do the work. This is just annoying me. Oops. If good old hypnotism doesn't work, perhaps a good back massage will. Eh, it's all right. Hold on, is that a power button? That seems like a good solution. Just turn her off and bam! She's asleep in an instant. She's still a robot after all. Huh? Welcome to the yoga class for pregnant mommies. Now ladies, it's time to roll your hips. The doll is struggling to do the move. <laughs> Wait a second, why are these girls laughing at me? Now do a lunge pose and take a deep breath. <sighs> the doll still cannot do the pose. Uh-oh, what is this girl planning to do? Something's brewing. Orbeez? Oh no, watch out! Whoa! <laughs> Loser! Stop! You! That's what you get for messing with a robot mom! What have you done? And you! I'm so sorry! Please don't hurt me! What happened? It was nothing. Huh? The doll is giving birth right now! Huggy is so nervous! Will the doll and the babies be okay? They're coming out! Look at our baby! Our cute little rainbow! Isn't she so cute? What a ray of sunshine! Here come the other four baby Huggy Wuggies! Wait, those are ours too? Welcome to the outside world, babies! Hold on, there are more? Shouldn't there only be five? There are actually nine babies all in all! Poor Huggy! You guys are about to have a very chaotic household! <laughs> The squid game guard will have to do for now. Can Huggy Wuggy cheer you up? I want mommy! But if the guard calls mommy doll, she could be busy watching the squid game players. She hates disruptions at work. Yeah, no, we're not calling her. I need to think of something. A picture? I know! Nice mask you've got there. He can act like mommy doll so well, down to her robotic gestures. You should really be an actor. Charlotte is convinced. Somebody give this guard an Oscars award already. What a genius hack. Lucas is feeling sick right now. I hope he doesn't turn into Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Mom has the solution. Some medicine, of course. If she can save enough to put in Lucas's mouth. Ew. Something's wrong with mommy doll. I think her system is glitching. Uh-oh! Hey, what's up? Huh? Oh, are we playing a dancing game? Can I have a soda, please? Sure! Looks like her motherly instincts are still working. Soda is bad. Medicine is good. Mommy doll is up to something. What is that about? Cut out the front of the soda can. Just enough to fit the bottle inside. Then put in a straw for sipping the medicine. Is that for me? Go away. This is for Lucas. Wow, Coca-Cola! He doesn't know what's coming for him. That medicine tastes good after all. It's all thanks to the guard. Good job. Huh? Oh, okay. 
High five? Just accept the compliment, buddy. What a long day. It's time to sleep now. Good night, sweetie. But it's also time for the monsters to come out. Oh no! Mommy, help! Is the monster under my bed? Mommy's here. There's a monster under my bed! There are no monsters here. I think it's best to double check it. The smell of a dirty sock really scares me too. Well, look what I found. It's Huggy Wuggy. Are you sure there's nothing else? There's this empty bottle too. But see, there are no monsters. Wait, an empty spray bottle? I have an idea. Don't worry, Charlotte. Your mommy is up to something here. Pour water in the empty bottle and fill it up. Add some lavender and chamomile for the scent. Is she making perfume? Let's see what this is about. Shake it up and mix it all together. And you get an anti-monster spray. Here, Charlotte, this will keep you safe. Monsters hate things that smell good, so make sure you spray that everywhere. Maybe you should spray it on your dirty sock, too. Or the monster might come back for it. Good night. Charlotte can finally get a peaceful night's sleep. It's time to brush her teeth. Or paint the mirror. Whatever floats your boat. No! Mommy doll is not impressed with this masterpiece. Clean up your mess. Huh? She even drew mommy doll. How can you stay angry at that? That's nice. But don't do it again. Just clean it up. There's no way Charlotte will clean. It's much more fun to play with the poppet instead. Of course, mom ends up doing the cleaning herself. Huh? Wait. I see something. Pop it. Let me borrow that for a second. It will do well with toothpaste. She filled up those buttons with toothpaste. They look like yummy candy. I wish I could eat them. But it's more fun to brush our teeth with these. Try it. Just dip in the toothbrush and start brushing your teeth. Brushing has never been more fun. Good job, mommy doll, for that genius hack. I need to pee. La la la. Oh no, what happened? She's stuck. That's definitely not something a plunger can solve. You need all the manpower. Let's hope the two guards can pull her out. Pull, pull. What's going on here? Mom is assessing the situation. I think you need to invest in a bigger toilet. Or mom can use her strong robotic arms instead. Just like that. These two guards are nothing compared to mom's strength. Maybe she can use the potty seat? Do you want to? No way! I'm not a baby! Get out! Oh, okay. Sorry. Wait a second. Potty seat, you say? I have a better idea. It's a toilet seat for kids. Charlotte will fit better on here. It works. Yay! No more getting stuck. I like it. Very cool gadget indeed. Wait, why are you here again? Sorry, sorry. Problem solved. Yay! Mommy doll looks busy at work. The players are playing red light, green light. Watch out! Someone's moving. It's Lucas. He wants to play. All that moving around is just asking for that laser shot. Uh-oh. You guys have got a distraction. Don't move. I hope this guy isn't ticklish. Those wheels could make anyone squirm. I see he's fighting it. Mom, let's go play, please. Please. Look, a roll of tape. If only it was as easy as taping them up to behave. Let me go! Unfortunately, reality is disappointing. Mommy doll is just so done with her naughty kid. I have an idea. What is she planning to do? Tape? She's sticking it to the floor. Where is she going with this? Are we free now? Should we move? 
She made a racetrack for Lucas's car. Cool. All he has to do is follow the red lines. Are you guys chatting? Who said you could move? Oops, back to work, guys. about to flood in here. What's going on here? I must stop you at once. Whoa! Well, that was an instant slip and slide. Oh dear. It's empty now. Don't sip that. Poor Lucas, he's so thirsty. Mommy doll needs to come up with something quick. A water dispenser and bottled water. What's that? Oh, it's a tiny water dispenser. It's very kid-friendly, so there's no more spilling water. Ah, that's a very cute way to hydrate. What a smart solution. Who put him on cleaning duty after that painful fall? Poor guard. I hate this job. Today is baking cookies day. They must be preparing honeycombs for the Squid Game players. Are those marbles he's playing with? Put one over there. Oh no! I don't think those cookies will taste good with the soup. You've got something on your face. Shut up. Right, back to work. On it. There's so much to clean up. Look at this pretty marble. Marble and soup? I can practically hear her gears turning. What are you up to? I know. Mom's back. It's a special no-spill bowl. It won't spill no matter which way he turns it. Whoa, look! Amazing, madam! Maybe it's time to clean up your face. I am so excited to see how my little boy is doing my belly. Oh, man, not a line. Come on, I'm so tired of walking and now I have to wait. My love, do something. I know, money rain. Luckily, Ken and Barbie are super rich. What a smart way to skip the line. Welcome, take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. How are dad and mom doing? Let's check on your baby. We are going to start the ultrasound right away. I bet Barbie and Ken are super excited to see how their little boy is doing. What? Why can't I see my baby? Oh, there he is. I'm a bit confused. I can imagine this day is full of surprises for the doctor. It's time for a checkup on the baby. Gotta see if the babies are healthy and strong. Uh-oh, someone doesn't want to wait in line. No way, don't you even dare. I've been waiting the whole morning. I'll be the first in line. I don't think this lady knows who she's starting an argument with. Uh-oh. Was that explosion? Come here, miss. Take a seat. Good choice, Doc. I bet you don't want to mess with her laser eyes. Don't waste my time. Check it. Yes, ma'am. There is no need to worry. Hmm, something's not working. Let me check. I don't understand anything. I don't get it. Uh-oh, the doll doesn't seem really happy. I'm going to fix it, I promise. Whoa, just look at her. Her lasers can do the ultrasound. This is such a great life hack for her. Seems that Doll's little baby girl is playing with her favorite squid games already. Wow, 
But how? I have never seen anything like that in my life! Well, at least we know the baby is okay. Ken always makes sure he looks his best. What was that? Barbie? Sweetie, are you okay? Jeez, ah! what happened? I'm hungry! I can't handle it anymore! Hold on a sec. Eat some fruit. It will calm your hunger. Here, I'll take a bite for you. Ew! Ah! That's plastic! Apparently plastic's not that fantastic. Ah! Here, take some french fries. No! What about some chicken wings? Oh my, this is a real problem. Nothing is good enough. Is that smoked sprats and a cake? Yes, give them to me. I bet Ken is very confused. Well, at least this should work. Let's see if fish and cake will satisfy Barbie's craving. Okay, it's time to feed my lovely wife. Let's see if Barbie is going to enjoy her crazy lunch menu. Ew, I can't even look at that. A lovely piece of cake served with oily, stinky, smoked fish. Mmm, it's so good. I love it. Thanks, my love. Ken, do you want some? <laughs> good, baby. Be calm, baby. I'm hungry. Good, I've got this boiled egg right here. Aren't you gonna share? Oh, sorry. Take my egg, darling. No. I hate eggs. Give me normal food. Give it to me. Ah, guards! Didn't you hear that she's hungry? Hurry up! That was fast. Let's see if the Squid Game doll is going to be happy with her food. I don't want this. Shoot, what do I do now? Oh, I know. I have a great idea. Take it. It's a honeycomb. So far, so good. This should work well. Guard. How can I help you? On my way! What? Why is this box full of washing powder and other home products? The doll is making herself a sandwich out of the honeycomb, a spider, and a screw. Not the washing powder on top! That looks so gross! And you can't eat those things! Well, I guess our Squid Game doll is built differently. Taste test. What? Has she totally lost her mind? I can't believe it! I'm gonna be sick! <laughs> At least the doll is finally happy. Wow, Barbie, your belly is so perfect. I can't stop, stop touching, touching it. it. It's, it's just, just too beautiful. beautiful. Please, stop it. Ah! Ken! What happened, sweetie? I think that the ladies are going crazy over the round, pregnant tummies. And no pregnant lady likes it. Good thing Ken's always ready to help Barbie, no matter what. Give me that Barbie doll! I know how to help my lovely wife and get rid of those crazy girls! Huh? I don't understand yet. Let's find out. Inside the Play-Doh, let's put the little Huggy Wuggy baby. The Barbie doll must be pregnant with something. Huh? Then make sure the belly is round and big. Now make sure no one finds out this little secret. And ready to go! Here, look what I have! Another pregnant Barbie! But she is a doll! That's so cute! Uh-oh. Seems that someone isn't willing to share the doll. Give me that! The doll is mine! Are you crazy? Let her go! Oh my, what a drama! Bye! Have a nice day! Oh, you're my hero! Welcome, everybody, to the Squid Game! I bet everyone knows the rules here. Who is going to be first to reach the line and win this game? The belly! So cute! I have to touch it! No! Logan! I can't hold it anymore! I must touch the belly now! Yes! I touched it! Uh-oh! And Logan is out! Poor guy! But we all knew it wasn't going to end well. Green light. Go, go! Faster! We're almost there! Come on! Yeah! Good job, girls! We both crossed the line safely! Oh my god! That perfect round belly! I must touch it! Come on, girls! You must resist! I touched it! I love bellies! No touching! No touching! Jeez, just look at the doll! She is glitching! Seems that the girls have just been punished with an electric shock! Well, at least no laser eyes were used! No belly touching! Oh my, oh my! Faster, faster! Ugh, finally! That was close! Whoa! Why is the toilet so cold? I think my thighs are going to fall off from that freeze! Oh my goodness! She's all frozen! What should I do? I can't pee on this frozen toilet! Even the water inside the toilet has turned into ice cubes! Ken! 
again? Ouch. You little scoundrel! Look at the toilet! It's a frozen land, not a bathroom! Ken is making sure that from now on, the bathroom is like a princess room, with all the little cute things that Barbie likes. Oh, even the snacks on the toilet! And of course, puppets on the toilet itself! Voila! The princess Barbie bathroom is done! Wow! This is so cool! Oh my! A toilet seat covered in puppets so I don't feel any cold from the seat? My husband is a genius! Finally, I can pee, snack on my favorite toilet lollipop, and watch gotcha videos on YouTube! Well, looks like Barbie is having the best time in the bathroom! I need to pee. Hurry up. Hey, what's that? I think I've seen that hand before. That's Mommy Longlegs. And she's making the temperature way too freezing for the Squid Game doll. Cold. I am cold. Oh no, this can't be good for her baby. No, she's freezing too. The doll must find a way to escape this cold. Of course, her laser eyes. That's so smart. No more ice cold toilet and shaking from the freezing temperature. And look. The baby is happy, too! The baby can enjoy her time in mommy's belly, just like in the Bahamas! <laughs> Warm! Baby is happy! I am happy! Yay! The toilet is free! Oh, thank you, sweetie! What? Am I in hell? <laughs> I love this! That huggy wuggy is so ridiculous! Whoa! I have never seen anyone laugh so hard because of huggy wuggy! Whoa! What is this thing? Are those boogers? Ew! <laughs> oh my god! Just a second ago, Barbie was laughing her lungs off and now she's crying? What is happening? Oh my, I think it's her hormones! Flowers for my beautiful lady! Flowers? Oh, you are so sweet! What is that smell? Ew! I'm gonna puke! Oh, wow! Lucky her to throw up Skittles! <laughs> Shoot! It seems that's not the end! Hold on, Barbie! Everything is going to be fine! Ew! These flowers have an intense smell! I guess plastic flowers will suit her better! Oh, wow! These flowers smell like… like nothing! That's perfect for me! Oh, jeez! There's Skittles puke all over the floor! Ew! Ew! I'm too perfect for this mess! Play the game, honeycomb game. Yes, yes, please, just don't do laser eyes on me. I'll do the honeycomb perfectly. Oh, look, it's a kitten. Pregnant Squid Game doll can't hold her emotions. See, she is smiling. Maybe she won't be so strict this time. Oh no, what am I gonna do? Sorry, I didn't mean to. You broke kitten. Shoot, she started glitching. Give me another chance. What is that liquid pouring from her eyes? I think those are tears. Poor Squid Game doll is crying because of broken kitten. What is happening? Why is it all wet? You must help your doll. Her emotions are so sensitive right now. Hold on a sec. I think he has a plan. The tears will stop because those sponge glasses will soak up all the tears coming from the doll. See? It's working! What a smart move! No more tears! Finally, after a long day, a beautiful, perfect family is getting some rest. Unfortunately, it seems that Barbie can't find a position that she likes. That's it! I can't handle it anymore! Barbie, what has gotten into you? Why aren't you sleeping? I can't find a good position with this belly. Stupid belly! Doesn't let me sleep in my bed. I hate this thing! How many more nights like this do I have to survive? Ugh! Hold on a second… I think I have a great solution for all our miserable nights! A donut floaty? What is he going to do with this pool gadget? Here, put this down and lay your tummy on it. This way your back will be less painful. This is genius! Barbie's tummy isn't touching the bed and she can sleep in her favorite position. Seems that Ken is handling pregnancy very well. What? No way! Now this stupid donut is taking up the whole bed! Where should I sleep then? Okay, I will scoot right in here. Well, now the floor is all yours. Can't sleep. Uncomfortable. Move. Angry. Wake up. Do something. What? What do you want? Come on, you have to do something. You are the father. 
You must find a way to make the doll more comfortable in the bed. Guards, do something. I don't understand anything. Why are they taking the bed out from under her? Where is she going to sleep now? Hold on a second. Of course, the guards are switching the beds. This is so smart. Maybe the players' beds will be more comfortable than theirs. Good job, guards. You may leave now. I have a feeling this is not the end. What is the doll's husband going to do now? He's going to cut out a circle in the mattress so the doll can lie on her tummy. This way it won't touch the mattress and her tummy will hang through the second floor of this bed. Huh? Oh, everything is done. Let's see if the Squid Game doll will be satisfied with the new changes to the bed. Great, it worked! I'm impressed with how the fathers have so many crazy ideas. And they always work. Good night and sweet dreams. Ugh, I can't squeeze it! Oh, I don't think there's much toothpaste left in that tube. You might need a new one. Luckily, Huggy Wuggy has a giant full tube of toothpaste. Just look at that toothbrush. It's huge, just like Huggy Wuggy's teeth. Maybe if they share. Huggy, give me some toothpaste, please. Oh, thanks. And that's enough. Whoa, whoa, stop. That's too much. Oh my, what a huge pile of toothpaste. Hold on a second. What is that tube of toothpaste doing on the floor? Is it full? Wait, that's not toothpaste. Let's check this out. I might need to cut it. Something is hidden inside this tube. That's definitely not what we were expecting. Oh my, a Barbie's head! How did that happen? Let's rinse it very well. I know what I can do with her head. Let's put the head on top of the tube of toothpaste and squeeze it. Oh dear, I have never seen such a thing in my life. It's a bit creepy, I won't lie. Now it's perfect. How do you like my trick, Huggy Wuggy? I don't even think Huggy Wuggy was expecting that kind of twist in the hack. Well, at least Avery is happy with it. Ah! Help me, please, Huggy Wuggy, help! Look, a huge spider! Ah! No, what are you doing? You can't kill the spider! I know what I can do! She has some kind of gadget in her hands. Oh, she's using it to pick the spider up without touching it. I got it! I got it! What a smart thing to do! Let's throw it outside! That was a huge mission! Good job, Avery! You are such a brave girl! I feel like the room is full of Lego. It's time to tidy everything up. We don't want to leave a mess everywhere. Nice! All done! Huh? No way! More Legos here! I can't deal with this anymore! <laughs> Huggy Wuggy! I hate tidying up! <laughs> Let's hope Huggy Wuggy has a great plan in mind. Huh? What is he going to do with that vacuum blower? No way he's going to blow all the Lego! It's going to be even messier than before! Ah! The wind is so strong! Tape? Oh, I know what to do now! Okay, no time for this. Let's clean this mess up. Let's put some of the tape on our hands. Don't be shy and tape your hands well. Just like that. Come here, you little chaotic Lego! The Lego easily sticks to the tape on her hand. This way, she doesn't need to collect the Lego parts one by one. I did it, Nanny! Now give me a high five! Uh-oh! This is gonna be a long-lasting high five! Huh. It's always so complicated with shoelaces. Ah! I can't do it anymore! <laughs> My shoelaces! I hate them! It's so nice that Huggy Wuggy is always ready to help Avery out. He really cares about being a nanny. Oh, jeez. That's not how you tie your shoes. Why would you do that? I can't walk now. My legs are tied up. Oh, scissors. Ugh, come on. Oh, got it. Wait, I think I have a better idea. Whoa, new shoes. They look really nice and stylish. Let's hope Avery will succeed in tying her laces this time. I'll make one loop on one side of my sneaker, and I'll repeat the same on the other side with the other lace. Just like that. One lace goes straight into the loop, and the other does the same. And done! That was easy. Now I can go play outside. Yippee! Well done, Avery. Such an independent girl. Apparently, Huggy Wuggy needs some help tying his shoes as well. What is that? Okay, I'll help you. But next time you'll do it yourself, Huggy Wuggy. 
it wasn't as hard as it looked in the beginning. Wow. Now, since their shoes aren't a problem anymore, they can go outside and have a lot of fun together. Kaboom! Nanny and Avery are playing games like real secret agents. Oh no! Watch out, Avery! That looks painful. I hope Huggy Wuggy won't cut Avery's leg now! Oh! Oh! Look, he's cutting the sharp corner of the table! Stop! Mom will be so mad that you ruined her coffee table! Look what I have instead! Huh? No! It's a hot glue gun, not a real gun, you silly! See? You can glue stuff with this little gadget! It's super fun! Let's hope Avery will succeed in her little hot glue project! Huggy Wuggy is also really concerned about the table. He doesn't want to have any problems either. See? If I bump into the corner, the glue softens it. This way, I won't get hurt so easily. Huggy Wuggy approves of Avery's idea as well. Now these guys can get back to the real business. Ah! You won't catch me! I'm too fast! Huggy Wuggy, watch out! No way! Another sharp corner! Huh? Whoa! Not a sharp corner again! the best idea for breakfast that you can come up with. Oh look, Huggy Wuggy seems pretty sad. This is much better than slime and cockroach soup. Avery is making cute hearts out of bread. Now this is really made with love. Mmm! Avery is a huge fan of chocolate things. I wonder if Huggy Wuggy likes Nutella too. Just look at that creamy deliciousness. Seems like Avery is putting a lot of effort into making this breakfast. Of course, let's not forget the heart cutout in the slice of bread. That looks so amazing! Avery must be proud of her chef skills. Oh, look at Huggy Wuggy! Oh! I think it's because Avery didn't eat the meal he made for her. Huh? What's that? Why are you sad, Nanny? Oh, of course! Well, let me put some wormies on my sandwich. See? I'm eating your meal too! So delicious! What a sacrifice! Sometimes all you need is just a bit of appreciation. After a long day playing with Huggy Wuggy, it's finally time to get some rest. Oh no! Look! There's a monster under Avery's bed! Don't move, Avery! What was that? Huh? I think I heard something. Monsters! Ah! Help me! My room is full of monsters! Help! It's so nice to have Huggy Wuggy here. He always comes to the rescue right away. Wow, I can't believe that scary monster got so afraid of Huggy Wuggy! What is happening? <laughs> it's just a hamster! Such a brave hero while fighting with monsters! And yet he's afraid of cute little pets? Everything's fine! I'll help you! Look, I'm going to read you my favorite fairy tale, okay? Once upon a time, there was a little girl who was afraid of monsters. Luckily, she had her very best friend, Huggy Wuggy, who babysat her. They got along super well. <sighs> but then one day, the little girl… Oh, okay. Where did I stop? Oh, hold on a second. I know a really good hack! Watch me record the fairy tale! But then one day, the little girl saw a monster under her bed. Luckily, the fearless hero Huggy Wuggy saved the little girl. From that night on, no monster dared to go into the little girl's room. Come on! Let's go! Yeah! I have a suspicion that someone is ill! Huh? What is happening? Oh my! Now Huggy Wuggy will take care of Avery well! Or should I say he will overcare? Avery looks like a mummy! Huh? How am I supposed to play? Uh-oh, I think someone is really pissed! But at the same time, that someone can't really walk! <laughs> I have 
the normal way to get better and cure myself. Of course, cough syrup. Yikes, that stuff is really disgusting. But it seems that Avery really wants to feel better as soon as possible. Ew, I hate this stuff. Oof, that was fast. Maybe pinching her nose helped somehow? Uh-oh, we have another patient over here. Let's see if he'll like the taste of cough syrup. Okay, okay, whatever. Seems like Avery is playing the role of the mom here. I think she has a nice idea to trick Huggy Wuggy into drinking his medicine. Of course, candies! Everyone loves candy! I'm going to cover a lollipop in cough syrup and give it to Huggy Wuggy. I bet he won't even notice. Look, I have a little surprise for you. I have this lollipop just for you. Yay, it worked! That was smooth, I know. Wow, Avery's plan worked. She is such a smart girl. Huggy Wuggy will now show us how to make the best sushi in the world. Just look how everything is flying around. I don't think Huggy Wuggy really knows how to make sushi. It's like one giant meal. And that's not how you roll sushi. What a disaster. Sushi, yay! What is that? Ew, why is there a worm in the sushi? I'm going to show you how to make real sushi. Let's hope she has better skills. She's putting all her ingredients into some cool sushi gadget. The sushi roll looks just perfectly round. The last step, cutting the roll into small pieces. And it's finally time to enjoy our nice meal. Interesting way to use chopsticks, Huggy Wuggy. <laughs> Cheers to sushi! That's great, right? Wow, I love playing with slime. It's so much fun. Uh-oh. Shoot, playing with slime is fun, but you have to make sure your clothes don't get ruined. I need to change. Let's find another jumper. Oh my, Avery's drawer is so messy. But why? She didn't fold those clothes like that. Who could it have been? Of course, Huggy Wuggy doesn't know how to fold clothes properly. What are you doing? Don't make more mess than it already is, Nanny. I know, I'm going to show you how to do it the right way. Let's grab a few pieces of cardboard, put them on the table just like this, and tape them together. This hack will help you fold your clothes easily. And it's fun to do, too. Look how beautifully the shirt is folded. Isn't that great? Oh, that's a huge pile of clothes. That's gonna take a while. Or not? Look how fast Avery is folding those shirts! I can't believe folding clothes could be so easy! This hack is really useful! Seems that someone just had an intense day and fell asleep watching TV! Oh, I hear someone coming! Psst! Arya is so tired that she doesn't even hear anything around her! Psst! Hey! Wakey, wakey! Wake up! Hello! Huh? Who's that? What do you want from me? Let me rest and sleep in peace, will you? Huh? Ah! <laughs> oh no, little Camilla is crying. Why are you sobbing, kiddo? She wasn't scary enough to frighten the lady. Hmm, I think I know what I need to do. Let's grab this bowl and a marker. We are going to make you into a really scary monster, my darling. That's so interesting. Why would Huggy Wuggy draw all those gross monster things in the bowl? Camilla is sad, not the bowl. And the water too? I still don't understand where this is going. The water in the bowl. And almost done. Come here, sweetie. And dip your face into this bowl full of water. Oh, of course. Huggy Wuggy just made marker tattoos. Now Camilla looks definitely more terrifying, right? Why do I have the feeling that Camilla is a bit afraid to go to sleep? Of course, she's really scared of those cute flowers on her walls. Oh no, I can't do this anymore. Daddy, where are you? Help me. What happened? Are you all right, sweetie? Look, there are so many. Those cute flowers are haunting me. I think Camilla's sleeping toy just gave Huggy Wuggy a brilliant idea. Let's see if he's going to make something crafty. We'll need a pair of scissors and a piece of blue paper. I'm going to make you a new lamp. Definitely a spooky one. I think this spider will be just perfect. And voila! Let's put it back. And light the lamp up. 
Ta-dum! Your room is safe again. Thank you so much, Dad. You just saved me from those cute creatures. Good night. Oh, my dear. I can't believe those things help her to fall asleep. Oh, watch out for that slime on the floor, Camilla. Whoa! Oh, no! Ouch! My face! I want my face! It hurts so bad. Oh, no, my dear. What happened? Ah, my tooth! I lost my tooth! I look terrible now! Let's see how Huggy Wuggy can help his little monster daughter. For her new teeth, we must make her a prosthetic. This way, Camilla will have her smile back. She can't be left without a tooth. That would be terrible. Let's hope everything will go well. Look, I have something for you. A new smile. OMG, give me that. My teeth. Now my normal smile is back. Yay, I'm so happy. Huh? Ew, Dad, your teeth look terrible. You should brush them. I know, I'm going to be a dentist now. Hello, sir. Put your hands away, please. Let me see your teeth. What do we have here? Ew, what kind of things does Huggy Buggy keep in his mouth? Is that a hamster? How did it get there? This is gonna be my new pet. I can't believe Huggy Wuggy is keeping a zoo in his mouth. I feel like fishing at the moment. Yikes, that's a big fish! Huggy Wuggy needed an urgent cleaning procedure for his teeth. Let's put a lot of toothpaste. Now brush them well. Camilla turns out to be a great dentist. You can take the mirror and see the result. Oh, she put some shiny stickers on Huggy Wuggy's teeth. I guess even monsters want to feel a bit extra pretty sometimes. Huggy Wuggy is headed somewhere. Ouch, ouch, my feet. Who left all these toys here? Hurts so bad. I think someone will be in trouble for leaving this mess out here. Hey, you ruined my castle. That's your fault. You left your Lego blocks all over the floor. That's it. Go and think about what you've done. Seems that Camilla is not really happy about being punished for her mess. And now Huggy Wuggy has to deal with all those small pieces of Lego alone. Well, at least hard, unsuccessful work entertains Camilla. This is pointless. I'm never going to finish cleaning up this mess. There are too many of these stupid pieces. Come here, kiddo. I need your help. Well, maybe together they could finish picking up the Lego pieces by midnight. <laughs> Hold on a second. I think Huggy Wuggy just came up with a good idea. Wow, just look at that speed. This is the fastest way to deal with all that Lego mess on the floor. The sticky tape collects everything in a few moments. That's one great parenting hack, Huggy Wuggy. And it's also super fun. That was a really good trick that you showed me, Dad. Okay, time to get this tape off my hands. I don't need it anymore. I have a feeling that Huggy Wuggy is struggling a bit with the tape. It's stuck to his fur. Ready? One, two, three. Go! That was painful. Ouch! Whoopsie! Poor Huggy Wuggy just got waxed. Oh! <laughs> Huggy Wuggy is about to kiss the Squid Game doll. Ew, just look at that huge pimple. Gross! Whoa! Watch out, guys! Ugh, what was that? Ew. Ew! That's gross! Oh no! One more is coming! Hi, darling! That was close! Something has to be done! Not kissing, Huggy Wuggy! I think there are more important things right now! Fake pimple popper! There you go, darling! Wow! That's so cool! Now I don't want to pop my pimples because I have this cool gadget! See? It works! What a smart move! And now the two lovebirds can go back to kissing! I feel kind of hungry. Let's see what we have in the fridge. Oh, a cupcake! Mm. Oh no, what's happening? I think Camilla just ate Huggy Wuggy's cupcake. That's not good. Huh? What is that? hi -ya! Go back to sleep, Dad! Oh! <coughs> oh my, she's setting a trap for Huggy Wuggy. And not one, but a few. This one is perfect! Thanks, Chicky! Okay, I gotta start prepping everything real fast before I get caught! Hurry up, Camilla! Huggy Wuggy is waking up! And he definitely suspects something! That smelly sock bomb didn't keep him asleep for too long! Now I must add some flour to make the batter! Oops! Well, I don't have time for this! I'll clean up later! Mix, mix, mix! This is getting stressful, huh? Where are my slippers? Ah! Ouch! Ouch! My feet! Oh no! A 
Wookie Wookie is coming! Ah, oh, that looks so painful! Camilla shouldn't have caused so much pain for her dad! <laughs> oh, there they are! I have to add some chocolate chips to the cupcake! Look, he's heading to the door! Oh, ouch! My hand! Great, the batter is ready! Almost done! Now, I'll microwave the cupcake for 40 seconds! That should be enough for the dough to bake! My poor hand! It hurts so bad! Okay, the cupcake is ready! I hope Camilla will make it in time! Great! Now I just have to put it back in a paper wrapper and stir right into the fridge! He's coming! Hide, Camilla, hide! What a mess! What happened here? Oh no, did someone steal my cupcake? Let's see… Oh, it's still here! Mmm, my cupcake will be a great midnight snack! So good! Yum, yum! Well, lucky our little villain didn't get caught this time! Huggy Wuggy! Where are you? Come out and let's play! Hey, why are you hiding under the bed? Come on out! No, I want to stay here! What do you mean? No, come on, it's playtime! Oh, jeez! No wonder Huggy Wuggy is hiding under the bed! He's ashamed of his long nails! Ew! Dad! Your nails are way too long! They look so gross! Hold on a second! I have a really good idea! Come out! We are going to the nail salon! Don't be such a coward! This is my dad! Would you be able to help him? He needs to trim his nails! Oh, okay… Sit down, sir! Show me your hands, please! Whoa, that's quite a situation! My nail scissors are too weak for these monster nails! I bet she'll need her strongest scissors to beat those thick nails! Oh la la! Nothing is working! Hold on a second! I think I might have a solution! Whoa! That's smart! Give me those! I'm sure I'll be able to cut the nails with these! Not the most ordinary manicure, but at least it's working, right? Oh, just look at those nails flying! That's quite a challenge for the nail lady! And for Huggy Wuggy, too! But he's holding on all right! It's not as scary as he thought it was! Oh, one more thing! Now I just need to file the rest of the nails! File! Ah! Hold on tight! Wow! She did a really good job! Just look how clean and shiny the nails are! Let's add some color! Look how many I have! You can choose whatever you want! That one! And there you go! All set! What do you think? Wow! This is so… beautiful! My nails are so nice! Now it's your turn, young lady! No, no, no! Let's see what they're up to now! Boo! Yeah, just like that! Got it? Oh, yeah, sure! Okay, now it's your turn! What? Now? Okay, sure! I think I get it now! Huggy Wuggy is teaching Camilla how to scare people! What a nice workshop! Boo! <laughs> well, what do you think? Did I get it right? Yeah! Oh no! The door! Watch your fingers, Camilla! Ah! Oh my god! The fingers! What do I do? This gadget will help to stop doors from closing! You better hurry, Huggy Wuggy! Phew! Wow! You saved my fingers from being smashed! What a great trick! I feel a bit thirsty! Oh, good thing we have some delicious blueberry drink! I feel that this may be too heavy for Camilla! Ah! I can't lift it up! How do I do it? Hmm… What if I try this way? I'm sure I can pour some into my cup… Uh, almost! No! The whole kitchen is now flooded with a blueberry drink! Watch out, Huggy Wuggy! Whoa! Oopsie! Sorry, Dad! Oof! My head! What were you thinking? Well, it was too heavy for me! And I was really thirsty! Oh, I know! A dispenser! That's a really smart move! Using this gadget, Camilla will be able to pour herself a drink without worrying! No more mess in the kitchen and no more heavy containers! All I need to do is press down and the drink will go straight into my cup! Seems that Huggy Wuggy also got thirsty! Now they can both enjoy having a drink with no trouble! Thanks for showing me how to get a drink on my own! Oh no! I think Camilla is sick! Poor girl feels really bad! Huh? Achoo! Whoa! Did you just see that boogie hit the wall? That was a giant one! Let me check! Oh jeez, you're burning up! Let's see what the parenting book says! 
Apparently, Huggy Wuggy is dealing with this situation for the first time. Taking care of sick children is not an easy parenting hack. Oh, here is the answer. Some cough syrup will make Camilla healthy again. I have a feeling that Camilla won't be really excited about drinking cough syrup. No, no, no! That stuff is gross! I want some cola! Mm -hmm. That'll help me too! Give me some, Dad! Someone is trying to fool Huggy Wuggy, but I think not for too long. Hey, give that back right now! You can't have cola when you're sick! Hold on a second. I think Huggy Wuggy just came up with a good plan to make Camilla take her medicine. Let's grab an empty can of cola. Cut it with a razor just like that. Make sure you don't cut your fingers. The blade is sharp. Then put a cough syrup bottle inside the can. And finally put a nice straw in. Let's see if Camilla will suspect anything. Oh, cola! Thank you so much, Dad. I really like it. Wasn't that hard to trick Camilla into drinking cough syrup? What a nice parenting hack, Huggy Wuggy! Yum! My favorite! Excuse me? No more fries for you, mister! Eat your veggies and make sure you finish them! But I hate veggies! Mom put a special lock on the shelf so the boy won't be able to get to those snacks! How smart! But the boy seems smarter because he is up to something! Go eat your veggies! Fine! I'll give it a try! Ugh! It's disgusting! I need to get those snacks! Uh-oh! Someone's eager for snacks! Will he be able to open it? Uh, I can't open it! What's the code? That train looks familiar! What if he follows the order of the colors? Let's see! Red, yellow, blue! Remember that! Now try it! It worked! What a smart boy! And now he has won his fries! <laughs> that was too easy! Fries are the best! Yum, yum. Oh no, it's Mommy Longlegs! I said no more fries for you, young man! Eat your veggies! But I don't want veggies! Huh? How about an apple? This is yummy too! Oh, come on! Wait! Apple and fries? I have an idea! To start off, thoroughly peel off the skin of the apple. And then slice the apple into tiny pieces to make it look like the shape of the fries. Then put them into the McDonald's box. Now they look like fries! The boy won't even notice! It will blend well beside all the snacks. Let's put it right here. There we go! The boy is just waiting for his mom to leave again. Oh, she's leaving! Finally, the boy is eager to get his fries back. Good thing he knows the code. Yay! But he doesn't know about the fake fries. Oh. Yay! I got it! Mom's bait worked! Mmm! <laughs> so tasty! <laughs> Come on! You have to use the toilet! I don't want to! Potty training is so hard! Let's try a different approach. Sweetie, you have to use the toilet, okay? You're a big boy already, aren't you? That's right! Good job! I'll come back when you're done. Uh-oh! What? You just wasted all that toilet paper? Oh my gosh, you child! Did you even use the toilet? Nope! <laughs> oh boy, this is an art class! Mommy needs to step up her game! You! Sit here! Now stay! No way! Oh no! What to do? A flamingo? This just gave me an idea! Let's see what Mommy is up to! Huh? Look at this gadget! It's a flamingo on a toilet! I don't want that! But look! When you open its beak, you can put food inside! Want to know what happens when he eats? You'll have to follow me to find out! Come on! I know you want to see! Okay, Mom! Almost there! And we're here! Mr. Flamingo needs to poop! Whoa! The food is going down through the stomach so that he can poop it out on his toilet! Cool, right? Yeah! I want to try it too! Oh, 
thank gosh. All right, come here. This is the toilet that big boys use, just like Mr. Flamingo. You can do it. Now he has a toilet buddy. Yeah! Wow, the boy is all dressed up. Perfect. All right. Honey, look after our son, okay? Yeah, sure. I'm gonna leave for a while. Goodbye, boys. I'll be back soon. What is he up to? I want to go paint. Dad, I want to do some painting. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yay! I sent something wrong. <gasps> no! The paint! It's gonna... Phew! Good thing Dad was fast. Or that would have stained the boy's clothes. No more painting for you, buddy. Why don't we just... Watch a movie instead? Fun, right? This is about a doll called Puppy. Come on, watch it with me. That looks creepy. I'm really scared, Dad. It gets better. Just watch. I had enough. Wait, don't. I hate this movie. It's too scary. Just throw it away. What? But horror is great. Huh? That trash bag is giving me an idea. Let's go craft something. What is he planning to do now? Scissors and a plastic bag? Let's see what dad is crafting. Huh? Ta-da! It's an apron made from plastic. An apron? Yay! It fits just right on the boy's body. Nice hat, dad. Now the boy can paint whenever he wants without staining his clothes. Oh, yeah! Mom's back! I want to show her my drawing! Look, Mom! Wow! But wait! What about your clothes? Oh, don't worry, his clothes are protected! He's wearing a protective apron, see? Wow, Daddy! I didn't know you were so smart! His clothes still look new! Mom will never worry about stains again! I feel sick! <coughs> My poor baby! Don't worry, I have medicine for you! Drink this, you will feel better soon! Ooh. Oh dear, this is gonna be a challenge! Let's try again! No! This is disgusting! I hate medicine! Wait, are you hiding something? Aha! Uh -huh. Who told you you can drink soda? That's bad for you! Looks like mom is up to something. She's transferring the soda into another glass so she can pour the medicine into the soda can. This way, the boy won't know he's drinking his meds. Here you go! It worked! He doesn't even notice. Huh? Mom gets to drink the real soda, of course. Now let's hope the boy will feel better soon.